Hi everyone, welcome back to a brand new video here at Delamere Forest Golf Club and in today's video we're going to be learning how we can play the short sided chip shot from the rough. So stay tuned. So starting off things with tip number one, it's really important that your stance is correct. So when I'm taking my stance for this sort of shot, I want the ball position to be slightly in front of the middle of the stance just to help me glide underneath the ball to get it popping up a bit higher and landing a bit softer on the green to hopefully stop quicker and close to the hole. And from there we want a very narrow stance because it's a very short shot. Tip number two, if you watched my chip and run video a couple of weeks back, we would have talked about keeping this left arm tucked in whilst we're making the chip and run shot. It's exactly the same for this shot. It's really important that we keep our arms and body connected and working together to create this shot. We want the left arm to be tucked into the shoulder and still rotating the body. You would have noticed that in the chip and run video we talk about making sure that the left arm and the shaft of the golf club are in line throughout the golf swing. So keeping the wrist out of the swing or from the shoulders. It's important, yes, that we rotate our shoulders throughout every single chip shot we play. However, for this shot, because we're trying to glide underneath it, rather than make it go lower, we want to make it go a bit higher. So we want to try and imagine that the head of the golf club is overtaking our hands as we hit the golf ball. So rather than our hands being ahead, we want the club head overtaking the hands on the way through. An easier way of thinking of this is imagining the butt end of the club, making sure that is pointing at the belt buckle throughout your golf swing. So if you can imagine here, okay, it's pointing at the belt buckle. On the way back, it's pointing at the belt buckle. On the way through, it's pointing at the belt buckle again. The fourth tip, it's really important that we keep our wrists nice and soft on when we're playing these shots. We don't want to be gripping it really tight. We want to make sure that we're only just gripping onto the golf club without letting it loose and come out of our hands. This will help you relax your wrists, relax your arms. It'll help you get the butt in the club pointing at the belt buckle throughout the chip shot. The final thing you want to be making sure when hitting these shots is that you take your most lofty club. So for these shots, I would use my 58 degree lob wedge, so my highest lofted club, just to help glide underneath the grass from the rough, pop the ball up and land stuff, and hopefully roll out nicely to the hole, rather than shoot off like a chip and run shot. Remember, our aim here is to land it softly on the green and stop it quicker. So I've got my 58 degree here, like I said. I'm gonna go for the bag there. So as you can see, it's only a couple of yards onto the green. I'm gonna give it a try. Here we go. So there, yeah, I released it better. So I kept the butt in the club pointing at the ball. My stance was good, slightly ahead of the middle of the stance. I kept my wrists nice and relaxed and I kept my left arm tucked into the body like any chip shot. So go ahead, give this a try. Let me know how you get on in the comment section below. If you haven't watched the chip and run video already, make sure you go and watch that one because it talks through keeping the arms and the body working together throughout every single chip shot you play. So make sure you go and watch that now to give you a better understanding of why it's important we keep the left arm tucked in throughout the chip shot. And as always, make sure you share this video to someone you know that is struggling with these short-sided chip shots, especially from the rough. Thanks for watching, see you next time.